backing up your information is extremely important. Beyond using a cloud service like OneDrive and Google Drive, for both I have videos and are linked in the video description below, you actually have another reliable and almost free method built into Windows. The idea is to have two identical disk drives connected to your computer and configure them as a mirror, in some circles also known as RAID 1. This can also be implemented on a virtual machine by using two identical virtual disks. Please subscribe. After connecting the disks to your computer and powering it up, click Start and search for Disk Management. This option, named Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions, is what you need. Click it to open the Disk Management application. Your disks will be identified by Windows and appear as offline and unallocated. As you can see here, I'm using two identical virtual disks, 5 gigs each. The same would have happened if these disks were physical. So, just in case you don't already know it, don't touch the system disk. It probably appears as disk 0 and is represented by the C drive. Mine is right here. The first item on your list towards a reliable local backup is to give these new disks life. Right click each and click online. Note that I am clicking this section of the disk and not this one. These are not the same. Once this step is done, their status will change from offline to not initialized. Next, you need to initialize both disks. Right click one of them and click initialize disk. Windows recognizes that you have two disks that are not initialized and suggests you initialize both. Make sure the correct disks are selected here, they should be the same as these here. Choose your preferred option here. If you are not sure which to choose, just go with your gut feeling and use the default. Click OK to proceed. The disks are now initialized and their status has changed to basic disks and they also appear as online. Now you can right click the disk in this section here and see the available options. In this video, I am showing you how to create a mirrored volume. Click it to proceed. This window explains what a mirrored volume is. Read it and click Next. It's now time to select your disks. The first disk is already selected. Click the second disk from the list here and click Add. Verify and click Next. Choose a drive letter for your new volume and click Next. Give it a name here, click this option to perform a quick format and click Next. This is the last time you can verify your information. Go over it one more time and click Finish. Some guides tell you to convert your disks to dynamic disks before you begin. But as you can see in this message, you don't really need to do that as Windows does it for you. Read this information at least once and click Yes. So what just happened? A new volume has been created and both disks appear in a nice reddish color. Here you can see that both disks are represented by the same drive letter because they are in fact part of the same volume. Now let's test the capabilities of this volume by creating a text file. In a critical situation, one of the disks fails and breaks the mirror. You could simulate this by right clicking here and clicking break mirrored volume. Obviously, during a real failure, you will not get a confirmation window, but in this case, just click yes to proceed. As you can see, now the mirror is broken. Both disks changed color and only one has the designated drive letter. Our text file is still working properly and is not showing even a bit of data loss. You saw what I did there? A bit? Anyway, you could break it even further by right clicking here and clicking offline. I have no idea what this is, but the actual disk appears now as offline and is failed. 
our favorite text file is still intact. To test this further, bring the disk back online and delete its volume. This simulates the next step. This is what happens when you replace the failed disk with a new one. Now right click the disk that is still alive and click add mirror. Choose the new disk from the list and click here. This is the same message you received earlier. No point in reading it again. You already memorized its content. Click yes to proceed. You might notice that once the mirrored volume has been created, the disks resync with each other. This process might take time, depending on the amount of data on the original disk. Once this is done, both disks are online and the information is in good hands once again. The color also changed to the one representing a mirrored volume. And the most important thing is that our favorite text file is still here. If you have any questions, post them below and remember to watch this video next.